All right guys, today I wanna to do another uh, demonstration on what to expect and how to do self, self checks for your equipment. So this is a Mega DLRO 10. Any DLRO will work, but I just, I'm just i using a 10 with the standard manufacturer leads. I have it set to auto. Um, the, the, for a DLRO, the typically the best way to do a quick expedient self check is to use um, a dead short and then some kind of known resistance if you have that available. I have right here, this is, this is a 10 amp current shunt rated at 75 millivolts at full scale. So 7.5 milliohms, if you divide that out is what the shunt should read. Um, I've done, I've written it on each shunt for what they should be. This is a 10 amp, 50 amp, 100 amp, and a 500 amp. And each one of them, the full scale 700 or 75 millivolts. So you can do the math, figure it out. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a quick little demo. The first thing I always do with my DLR rows before I use them is I short the two leads together and I measure and I should get almost zero, which is, this is 0 0.1 micro ohms, almost a flat out perfect reading. And then any of these shunts will work, but I'll demo each one just for, for giggles. Um, this should be 7.5 milliohms and it reads very close to that. This next one is 1.5 milliohms. And it's very close to that. The one after this is, uh, I wrote it on here somewhere, 750 micro ohms. So that one is gonna read hopefully very close to that, 726. And then this one is 150 micro ohms. And we're gonna shoot that one, and 157. So it's a very good self check. The, the 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 variation in this could be my placement of my probes or just the the cheapness of these these shunts. But the, for the most part, they they are very accurate to give me the readings and the results that I'm expecting to self check my equipment. Thank you.